Lucas here with Super Savvy Travelers in the car. No, I'm not driving. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to do a video on why is everybody moving to Italy? Because guess what? Everybody's moving to Italy. Well, I have not had this much action since uh, since the backlogged post virus uh, thing when Italy opened up and this huge wave of you guys came over, which we love, by the way. Keep coming. Um, we're getting reaches every single day, and in fact, I think we've been doing like two a day referrals to uh, to our guys in Puglia, in Tuscany, in um, the Riviera di Cenere, just all over Italy. Italy is on fire right now, and we have some really cool things coming up. Yesterday, we talked to a beautiful architect in Florence, and we're heading over there to look at some stuff. And uh, and we have our Case de Fuse project, which we are going to one by one, systematically repopulate the hill towns of Italy. But let's get into the meat of what we're talking about. Why is everybody moving to Italy? I've been doing a little research. Number one, eh, the politics here in the US. Not a lot of people liking it. Not gonna say what they don't like or blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying it's a thing. Okay. The second thing is the medical care. And if you see the video that I put up a few days ago, the medical care in Italy is really good. And frankly, I think it's head and shoulders above the HMOs that I've been dealing with, <laughs> Kaiser, in, uh, here in the US. Oh my goodness. And uh, the care we've gotten has been fantastic. The medical model is different there. It's not drug-based particularly. It is treatment-based. It is one-on-one -on -one based. It is doctor-patient based. It's really a nice thing. Another thing is the inflation. My gosh, we came back to California. Everything's so expensive. We can't hardly believe it. I mean, you know, luckily we, uh, we are living pretty cheaply because, you know, we tend to do that everywhere we go. But in Calabria, for example, like the stuff in the supermarket is so cheap and it's so good, right? The, the kind of cheeses that you get in the, you know, in the uh, specialized delis and the uh, whole foods and sprouts and things like that, the natural cheeses that come from blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? They're the normal cheeses in Italy. You just buy them. And I feel really good. After I get back to Italy for about a month, I feel a lot better. Just more healthy, digestion better, happier frame of mind, that kind of thing. So that's another big reason is if you retire in Calabria, your retirement dollar, euro, is going to be going a lot further. Now, another thing is culture and community. When we first uh, started Casa Cristina, when we first bought it, we were going to renovate it, and then of course the virus happened and all that stuff. Uh, there was a lot of interest by the big buckamucks in uh in Calabria, why would you want to buy here? Well, and we said, well, you know what? You guys have what we all want. We've lost our sense of community in so many of these places. We've lost the connection. We've lost the tradition. We've lost the history. Now we just get up, go to work, you know, pick up the kids from daycare, make dinner, go to bed, get up, go to work, blah, 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 blah. And it's the same old thing. Where are the Sunday dinners, you know? Where are the knitting classes that we all do together? Where is, you know, somebody showing up here to with sandwiches if you're not feeling good? That's what they're looking for. So there's a lot of great reasons to move to Italy. Those are a few of the more pressing ones, but of course there's the beauty of the landscape. There's the architecture, which is crazy. It goes back thousands of years. The history, um, the language, which I love, and uh, all the people. So. A lot of people moving to Italy, and this is why. Sorry about the bumpy ride today, guys, uh, in the car, but uh, wanted to just communicate this with you. Looking so forward to seeing you in Italy. My gosh, Casa Cristina is opening up very shortly, and uh, we have so many things going on. So stay tuned, guys. There's a lot happening. See ya.